something that we thought about and, and kind of plotted. And there were certain advantages to doing three-story. Um, and then we actually did a version of the plan <coughs> here, where it shows they're all two-story. And for anyone, I, I, I do recognize a, a number of faces who were at the Holy Browns and some of the other meetings. And we said that we can't actually do all two-story. Um, but Is about 43? 43? Yes, it's, it's the same number, correct. And so this plan differs that it's all showing two story. What's so the height? the height of two stories are. Let's call it, let's call it, uh, let's call it two What's the height limit? It's 24, it's 27. Yeah. So there's still going to be the garages on the bottom? Correct. All yeah, all the houses. So what were living things on Right. Yeah, the house, would there would be all, all houses would have side by side cars, two car garages. That would have a, a garage door and everything. So drive in, <coughs> the garage door would open, drive in, close it. So it's interior parking. There's also spaces that we have plotted on the land for guest parking, but each house would have its own two car garage. And they'd be living on the first floor and living on the second floor. So we haven't designed the architectural product yet because land planning is the first step, and we're just using dimensional footprints for these houses, which the largest ones are 30 feet by 40 feet, and there's some that are a little bit smaller. So that's essentially. We haven't filed any tax now. No, no, we haven't filed we have, anything we have yet. Good we, have, point. we have not made a filing yet to the, well, look to the city. Do we what file we? for a tenant track map? And the answer is no. We have not filed for a map yet. We haven't done our whole submittal package. Has the presentation or has this um, configuration <coughs> changed since you've met with the various different mm -hmm. community groups? Yeah, well, we started with 53 homes. Okay. And we reduced it from 53 to 43. And then um, we've had a couple different iterations of where the entrance driveway would be. There was a drive that was depicted here before, and then there was one that did shifting a driveway to the south part of the property. And then this one is showing all two-story versus um, two-story and three-story. <coughs> but this is not a submittal. This is, again, it's just a you know, working concept. So. Um, and they're all detached from each other. Correct. Some of them, again, it's, it's preliminary. Some of them appear close together, but they're not. They're, none of them would be attached. They would be detached single-family homes. Now, because of the small lot ordinance, you can build the houses closer together. Well, inches if you want, or two feet, or whatever. It allows you to build the houses closer but together. Home there is like six feet apart from each house. You can build them closer together. Like they just can't touch. With current zoning. With with the small lot ordinance, which is a like a condition that you can apply okay. to utilize. Yeah. The, cur the current zoning is residential. Most of the site is what's called RD6. So it's a minimum 6,000 per lot. And then there's a part of the site, yeah, where it's R1. What part of it, right? It's like in that area down there, R1. And so our application would include what is deemed a minor zone change because it goes from low it's called low moderate residential, but it stays in. Is it low moderate? Yeah, band of low it's a band of, of low moderate. And our application would be to change the zoning from RD6 to RD5. And what that would effectively do is take the minimum square foot lot from 6,000 to 5,000. Okay. So by pure map, just the site has 4.91 acres, and you convert that to square feet and you divide by 6,000, you would get 33, or sorry, 35 homes. That's essentially what you can get on the site by the current zoning. If we apply for a zone change and achieve the zone change, we go from RD6 to RD5, then we could add eight houses and go from 35 houses to 43 houses. That's essentially what What happens with the RD1 zoning with the zone change? Correct. The whole thing would come into conformance under one um, one zoning for the whole property. So you're asking to change, have the zone change to take it from single family residential in one corner to multi family. That's not right. 
we're not doing multifamily. Multifamily is, is let's just be really clear. I, I know you mentioned something to bring apartments. There's no multifamily. There's no apartments. This is not for rent. It's none of that. These are it is small detached. It is there's, small there's detached single family homes. Yeah. homes. yeah, you would have each each individual homeowner would own their house. It would have fee simple title. It's not a condo man. No, I, I totally understand that. It's, it's totally just that RD is a multifamily zoning. That's the name of the zone. RD. No. R3, R2, RD can be RD 1.5, which limits to single families. It's the size of the home okay. and the size of the lot. Multifamily would be the R3, the R2, the R4, the R5. Yeah. Yeah. So this is we've never thought of doing multifamily. We think this is these are families. These are family homes. This is single family, detached homes for sale, market rate. So each lot is 6,000 square feet. You mentioned that. The current zoning at RD6 would say the minimum, or yeah, minimum lot size would be 6,000. And how much uh, backyard would they have? Square feet. Square feet. Right, and then they would go from 6,000 to 5,000. So your goal is to have them. Yeah, Correct. 5,000 square feet. Per per lot. Lot. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's per lot, but per what lot. happens is when you do a small lot ordinance, you can, it, it allows you, and then the purpose of the ordinance is to allow you to utilize the land in an efficient way, and so this land plan is the way it is because we are trying to work with the natural topography to minimize grading, to not level the site by any stretch, to create an interesting land plan so that you maximize the open space. If you kind of look around, you see most of the site, well, I don't know most, but I mean, a good chunk of the site is open space. If you look, now this is just a tiny snip of a photo, but if you go on Google Earth and you look at how dense it is, it's open space, but it's up like this. Correct. No, no, no. We're not. We're not leveling. There, there, the, this road exists, not precisely in that location, and it goes up. And so there will be grading up here to create a flat. Well, okay. Just, just for the previously, I just want to just, just tell you one. This has nothing to do with the previous application. No, I, I understand. It's not it a, just feels like it's the it's, same thing again because it's not. Okay, ma'am. It's not, okay, it's not the same thing. This is something to homes you want to do, but this, you want two story, every story. So, so this is not the same thing. You have to think of it as entirely different. No. We're different people. It's a different ownership. It's a different idea. The previous idea was for a school. This is for right. This is for single-family homes, so yeah. it's completely different. It, it has nothing to do with this similar, and so we, we have to it's make it a, a right line. Is, I can't comprehend how can you build 43 homes on that little hill. When I stand outside my house, I live on a hill, I see the four homes on the right, and they are small. And you want to build how many? No, no, on the, on the, on the Lombardi. Yeah. 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 Lever, well, cluster. Like here's a group. Yeah. We look at it in four groups. Like here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, and here's a group. So they're in different parts of the site. And if you look at it, there's much, much more open space on this site after the building than there is in the existing. If you look at if you look at that, you know there's zero open space. It's just it's it's very dense, which which is fine, and that's what exists. But what we're talking about is doing something that has a lot more open space to it. The density is much. It just doesn't look that way to me. The picture when you look at the hillside, where it's flat on, on the Lombardi side, the side right of the road. Then when you look, when I look at that hill, yeah. and then I know on the other side is flat. 
on the right. part, and I'm speaking right. my English, it's flat on the other side. So I can see that. That's what I think is, is hard to imagine, and I know you did the Google Earth. I did the Google Earth, too, when I saw this new one, and I'm thinking, I'm seeing 43 houses densely close to it, and all of a sudden you're going to put the same amount in, in the same amount of size. And I think that's what it is. Because the part of is flat, and it's always been flat since, what, 1970, and then all of a sudden you look up, and then there's a hill. Exactly. You have to, when I first got my cell phone in 1994, I couldn't even use my cell phone because there were so many hills. I had to go down yeah. Eastern. So that's why there's all these hills. And yes, to you, it looks like we can put it on a hill, but it's still a hill. Exactly. Well, anyway, I, I can tell you, you can go all over the city of LA. <laughs> well, it's there's houses on anyway. hills. Exactly. All over El Serino. There's houses on hills. Do you have a question, ma'am? Yes, those locks are on Lombardi. Both yes. Homes. What will be the lock size of the lock size? Well, the average lot size of all the lots. No, specifically those lots. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the exact number. But, you know, the lots can go, you know, from here on a width, you know, up. It, you, can, you, know, you incorporate some of these areas into what we call like an open space, where you'll have what they call a lettered lot for maintenance and stuff. Some kind of technicality. Or, you know, the, the lot can go up the hill and stop here. Yeah. Yeah. What's a guess estimate? You know, I was well. The average would be five. Well, the average the is five thousand. Smallest will probably be somewhere in the low threes, uh, and the largest in the seven or eight. You know, if, like let's say this lot here, it goes all the way down the east. Why not? Just the hillside would be larger, but the ones at the bottom where it's flat. What are we looking at? I don't think it's five thousand for those lots up there. For the individual lot that that homeowner yeah. would uh, have. Uh, well, we're going to go all the way to the top line. Well, we can go all the way, like you said, if you got this lot going this way, this lot going this way, yeah. the line would be drawn here. Uh, maybe well, those, those so you, ha you have yeah. the lines Well, we don't have, okay, so it's, we don't have the exact calculation. Well, it's, it's, a rough, just, it's a rough yeah, draft right now. Because now we're going to go home and say, oh, Ethan, just guessing. <coughs> I mean, we're not guessing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 for some of the smaller lots to the bigger mm -hmm. lots would be, right. could be up to seven. What is the any uh, sale of the houses from the lowest to the highest? Like, what is the square footage from the lowest to the highest? Well, the market will determine the home sale prices. Right. We don't well, what do you anticipate that. since you're the uh, developers? Yeah, no, we, have, we don't have any set numbers. Okay. It's the market's going to determine. Right, let me ask another question. Is, is, is there needed a, a uh, survey on the traffic flow around the community? Because you have like 42 homes up there. Is there a two-car garage, one-car garage? Yeah, that, it's, a, it's a two. Each, each house right. has a two-car garage. So, so this and, is two, and there's two guests. Time. Hold on one second. Let me yeah. finish the question. This is one at a time. Yeah. There's a two-car garage at each house. Additionally, there's guest parking on the site. As far as traffic, yeah, the city will look at the whole thing with traffic, and if they determine that a traffic study is needed, then then we would do a traffic study. We have actually had our engineer out. Um, this uh, the other gentleman, um, had, he was you know talking about safety and stuff, and you know we were looking at that. We hired our traffic engineer to come out, and we asked you know, someone from the city to come out and meet with us, and we walked up and down Eastern and looked at, you know, some of the different streets, Harmony Lane, Klamath, and Ruth Square Bit, and just on up and, and went to, to try to understand all the dynamics. And so we're trying to like, really understand how the street works and, and, and working with engineers. You know, we're not traffic engineers. There's people who, you know, are really focused on that. But we've hired a guy to try to, you know, look at that. So if... <coughs> If it's required, I mean, we're, everything that's required, we do. And then, you know, I foresee that the streets have to be wide in the neighborhood. The neighborhood streets. Well, well, um, the streets that I mean that exist, yeah. or the streets yeah. that yeah. we're yeah. going to yeah. 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 to want to make the power add under the bay on on Eastern. Is that what you guys also? Well, yeah. well, well, okay. So, so that's a. Right. The Bureau of Engineering deems this to be a secondary highway. And the secondary highway has a certain width standard. And there's parts of Eastern that are smaller than that standard. So this is one of them. So they, they said that to be in compliance, you would have to widen. You have to dedicate right away. 
Right. Yeah, by foot for dedication. Yeah. yeah. And so, so we can do that, but we don't really think it's a very good idea. And in talking with the schools, they don't feel it's a very good idea because, one, the control points on other parts of Eastern are already set. It's not like you can add another lane. This would add more space, but not enough to create a lane. And even if you did create a lane, it would only be for you know, <coughs> a couple hundred feet. And so it would actually not be a good idea because I think it might inspire people to drive faster, which we don't want. And two, it might inspire people to park along here and do what people are already doing, which is you know, crossing the street, which is dangerous. So we would, we would talk to the council member's office. We would, I mean, they'll, they'll see the, the statement from Bureau of Engineering. It's not like, oh, they're really passionate. They think it should be wide, and they're actually, I don't think they think that. But they, just, but they have to point it out, because that's their job. And then it ends up being a planning decision to, to do something. But we would put forth an argument that we don't think this should, should be widened, because it doesn't offer any benefit. Well, let me is the beneficial, but, but not widen it, but allowing at least a turn name to and from, because if you have all homes, in the morning, people have to leave from those homes and they can easily return. And if you have nowhere, no, nowhere to turn, at least take a right from, from the development, then you're back to traffic as, as you want to turn in. Or you have to wait, or they have, they have to wait to, to, to get out. So that's what that I see as a, as a problem. If, if so you, you, you think there should be like a, a dedicated right turn line there? No, right, the, right there, exactly. Yeah, that's when we split these two is to relieve the amount of traffic that's coming. Well, right, right now there's a single that, that, that curve is kind of, if you, if, I mean, if you drive by there, that curve is kind of, it's, it's hard. It's yeah. yeah. hard. It's a line, yes, it's a line curve. So that's what I'm, I'm worried about is, is that backing it up. Yeah. If you want to turn right, turn into the development, and would then you, you have people coming flying. Would you go up there and show us what you're talking about? You know, I can, I can, I have a liner. Well, I think yeah. I, yeah. talking about this area right here. Yeah. Give him the point. It's a driveway. This is another driveway. Right before that driveway, though, is a blind curve. Hold down again. Yeah. Right before that driveway is a blind curve. That's right. And if you have people, you know, see, uh, if someone is going to right turn and they're going slow, the car behind them might be, you know, they come pretty fast, they might not be able to stop in time and might rear end them and cause accidents. See, that's what that curve there is. It's a deceptive curve. You're coming through, when you do that curve, it plus that curve. Are you talking about up here or down here? Down here. Down here. Down here. Okay. Oh, right there. Uh -huh. Okay, then on the east side of the Lombardi, when you get to that thing, you also have to remember there's also a bus stop and an MTA that's turning on to East End and also going forward. So, but it is a, it is a deceptive blind curve when you're coming from Eastern and south on Eastern onto Lombardi. When you think you're going to be able to make the turn, the cars are coming and you think you can beat it, and that's what was a concern on the houses on the Lombardi side. If they're coming out of that driveway, well, that's something else, yeah, that doesn't have another one, too, that helps. Yeah, you can have a yeah. rear ending, and plus, it's such a small area going onto Lombardi from where those houses are. Are they going to be able to make a left turn and not get T-bone coming from Eastern or going to or going right to the stop and then making a big Well, it's a full-lighted intersection at Lombardi. There is a full traffic light. And right turns left Well, no, there, there is. There's, that's a full light. There. Down no, no, I mean, there Either a there or at your no, intersection. No, no. There is a lot of problems yeah. there. Yeah. 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 But the last thing about it is one down there. The one before that is that's, that's, that's a real blind curve that as you come around it, you know, you have to like left Yeah, right behind it. And the place, I think. Yeah, because like Klamath, you have all these things coming out of one driveway on the Right. And especially in the morning, in the school rush. It's not finalized. Well, in general, minimum five thousand in the range. Or so the average would be five thousand. The range would be. It's not finalized, but somewhere in the low three thousands, maybe thirty-two hundred, up to about seven thousand. Yes. So my concern would be that if we have a dedicated lane to turn turning right or. 
coming and come out of that development, that would be, I think, a safety issue. Mm -hmm. that, would yeah. be, that would be clear. Yeah. But that would be public, 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 public safety, safety. yes. Right. Public safety department next to me. I'm just saying that's something that I, I'm concerned about with the development because uh, yeah. I drive there all the time and I know that, you know, I've seen people crash there, have terrible crashes, just because uh, someone's turning right or yeah. coming out and, you know, we don't know that intersection or that turn. A lot of people that back in that used to turn further down the driveways yeah. back in. Yeah. That's got to be much more. Because well, I mean, everyone coming out of this drive will be yeah. facing the deal. Well, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Of, Outside of this one street, all the other houses that go down, their driveways are right on Eastern, and people have to back onto Eastern and then come north. So yeah, that's the thing we do here. So we don't have any of this. Yeah, but that's not exactly that. There's no curve there. Though. That's not the curve where you're trying to literally just surround it here. It's right there, driveway. Well, the traffic engineer is cool. They'll look at all yeah. these. Yeah. 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 They look at all that, but they don't live here. It's not going to affect them like it's going to affect them because we drive Eastern every day. So it's going to affect yeah. us, it's not the people who drive like this. Okay, well, I want yeah. to give a discussion right now. Having done the previous project, you have a lot of problems. Traffic is one thing. You're going to need at least one full traffic intersection signalized intersection there with left and right turns into the project. When you say hillside ordinance, where's the ridge line? How many of these buildings are going to be on the ridge line? Or this, is not a, line? this is not a ridge line, a protected ridge line. In okay. the ordinance. But for us, it is because it's a... But it's not in the ordinance. It's not in the ordinance. Okay, so it's a general PUC and PUD uh, issue. One of the issues, though, is that, say, around the perimeter, especially down on the south side and the east side, the overhang. In the previous one, there were people that had a 50-foot drop down to the adjacent backyard. <laughs> Overlooking. Yes, those there. Uh, then when you say, what's the car garage? Hmm? The what's school the site. You're talking about the one? The previous developer development. Uh, the one previous developer. Had, had mixed use of school and apartments. Oh, correct. Oh, right, yeah. So the apartments were just in the same areas. Right. Now, okay, pedestrian access. How are the kids from the families that are going to be there get down to the school level? Well, safe players. There's, right. there's um, right, what we have is well, the it, let, let me answer the question. No, okay, just, that's just the question for so I'll answer. The central issue that for me is you need well, another presentation where somebody is in charge and right. allows you, 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 not just okay. general discussion like we're having here. Okay, I, I, I can run it, I can run this meeting more authoritatively if, you, if, if well, that's what everybody I, wants. I think the community would like to have somebody that's more local than the proponent. But we can... Well, but, but, but okay, you, you asked a question. <coughs> okay, so, you, I'm sorry. You asked a question yeah. about how, how would kids go on the site. So each of these four areas are connected by either pathways or, or, or stairs. So okay. each part of the site can be accessed by every other part of the site. Additionally, we've created a space, and again, it's rough, but this is a, an open space. I, I know. And so true. all of it can get to the street, and they can get to Lombardi to cross to school. I would, again, I would suggest that you have another meeting solely for this, properly communicated to the neighbors, especially within 500 feet of that boundary. And, you know, little things like low impact development requirements. Well, let, let me tell you when we're going to. Storm water management, all those things yeah. are really yes. huh? good. This, this, this all part of the cisterns. And one, this one of the things in four small plot development discussions that I've had before is there going to be a homeowners association with covenants? Yeah, let me, yeah. Let me, let me talk to that. Okay. So, so Let's have one, meeting. We, we, we have had a bunch of meetings, and this isn't the first this or the one. last. We've had, you know, probably six or seven public meetings, okay? And the one, it, it, you know, we did actually mail out. At the Holy Grounds is to mail the 500 people. Yeah, we, we, we mailed out to about 500. Oh, that would be, oh, okay. 100, oh, okay. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, um, <coughs> no, it was more than 100. 500 is more than 100, yeah. That, that was the first one. The 500 feet is for the after public hearing. That's when there's, that, we're way in advance of that, you know. We're having like a series of meetings, and this is not designed to be the end all or conclusive. But so, there's a point where we ask questions. Right, and that's what we're doing here. My question is, is it necessary to have an environmental impact survey on this? Is there a lot of traffic, more people? Kids are going to be crossing school right now. They're going to have one, right? Yes, the city will manage that. They It will go through as a mitigated negative thing. Can you show it in the back? I got a question back there. So I am coming in late in the game. I haven't been to all these meetings talking about and I'm really curious because I keep hearing these meetings these meetings but I'm curious what you're finding from the community like how what's the general response overall that you're getting from the schools from the homeowners in, in, in there I live right up the hill I didn't receive any mail and I have one more question is in your business plan like who are you intending to live here well, What's your, who's your target that you want to bring into these homes? Well, we're, we're not, I mean, we, we don't control the market. This will be put on for sale. So anybody in this room could be a buyer. School teachers, and we've met with the schools, and the schools are very favorable to what we're doing. We met with a number of different organizations. I don't, I don't know if you came in late, but I kind of went through a number of the different meetings that we've had. Um, so it, it really, anybody who wants to own a home, you know, we find a lot of times that people who live in an area would want their children <coughs> to come and live in an area, so maybe it's their children or relatives, as people who work nearby. Right? That'll depend on the market rate, whether or not a school teacher can afford to buy one of these homes. May I suggest to the committee? I thought, I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. make a recommendation to the board to have a public meeting for only this right. subject. Request everyone that's at the board meeting to submit any written questions they have to the land use committee chair so that it can be a bit more organized. Yeah, I'd like to get you the questions prior so that you can come back with answers. Because yes. they're the same Plus. questions that I'm hearing at the last meeting. Maybe from different people, but they're pretty much the same questions and it seems like we're still going over the same thing. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, I wrote down all the questions that everybody had. Do you have any update on any of the, the questions from the last meeting? Yeah, well, there was one. There was a sort of discussion. Hey, would you lower the density? Just cut it in half right off the bat. So that, that was a question. And our, our response was, well, we dropped from 53 to 43. So we think this is a, a good number. And it's not economically feasible to drop it to 20. So that would be our response in there. Um, there was talk about traffic, which we fully acknowledge. You know, we're all. Did, did you actually have 53 on one of those pictures before uh, the meeting? Because I've been to the meetings and I've only heard the number, but I haven't seen you show actually that you have 53. We on. we had an iteration to ourselves, and okay. did not present 53 in a meeting. Okay, so you haven't presented 53 to the community. You only presented it to yourself. No, we had discussions in general, and before we had our first. You know, public meeting, we already reduced it from 53 to 43. Okay, so there was never a percent of 53 to the community. It was 43. The number was 43 to the community. No, it was, we, when we started, all of our analysis was based on 53. Okay, because I'm, I'm a little confused, because you keep saying 53, but you're only showing 43. Well, the que I, I was answering a question, and the okay. question was, what has changed, or what have, you know, when, when we started, looking at it, we were thinking of 53, and we got certain feedback, and we came to realize that doing 53 would require a general plan amendment, and we decided not to do that. And so we reduced it to 43, which doesn't require a general plan amendment. It's a minor zone change. So that's why we, we reduced it. So we didn't, you know, by the time we actually had the Holy Grounds meeting, we were already at 43. So that's what I had said the other night, but this is, basically what the point was. So the other thing that people have talked about and people are concerned about is traffic. 
And so, you know, we listened to that, and, and I think in general, you know, people, I don't know that there's one person in the entire city of L.A., nor any big city anywhere in the world, that's happy with the traffic. All big cities have a lot of traffic, and it's just part of what comes with living in a city. And so, I mean, some of it, we're trying to listen, we're going, okay, well, what, what do we do with that? It's, there's a lot of traffic. So, um, you know, we, we know basically what kind of traffic's produced by, you know, detached single family homes. Pretty minimal impact. It's far less than many other uses, like as an example, the previous applicant. That, that was a school that probably would produce, what would you say? Like 1,360 daily trips. And, and something like this would produce? Yeah, in a low 300. I don't think it's traffic, it's safety. So, 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 okay, well, but that is what the comment was. Again, we're answering the question, okay. people want to know what was said and what, what was being answered. So there's a lot of there's, there's discussion of traffic. So, you know, we've, we've looked at that. We've employed a traffic engineer and has spent a bunch of time and a bunch of money to look at this and try to see, well, okay, you know, people are concerned about traffic in the area. But they're concerned about traffic today is already this. And it's been getting worse and worse, you know, for the last hundred years. I mean, it just keeps, you know, growing because there's more people. So what, what, well, we're kind of going through a, no, a process. Says, order here. said the city. Well, this is the community. Yeah. A neighborhood community. Right. We want okay. to get the traffic low for our kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can, can I? I'm sorry. What I want to do then for now is we're scheduled to stop at 7:30, and again, I'm hearing some of the same stuff. I'm going to go ahead and allow for 15 more minutes of discussion. But I want to, before everybody leaves, and prior to the 15 minutes being up, we need to get another meeting on schedule within the next, are we talking two weeks, one month? Two weeks. Two weeks is okay? Well, I'm, I'm, enough time for everybody? take a vote on it. Is two weeks okay? enough time for everybody? And I, I would need questions emailed me prior to the meeting so I can get them to to these gentlemen so they can have answers. Like when you say, what is that lot size down there? Instead of giving well, a guess we'll have all of those, but more details. Well, the details that, that you need. This is what I'm going to propose for the people that invited me. I want to take a survey of all the homeowners around that area, maybe two blocks wide. Of all those homeowners, do you 